Hey, I'm Amy and I'm here at the Venetian Surf Shop filming the show with Jesse Martinez of Venice Street fame. Where'd you get your first skateboard? I was almost six and uh, they brought it home and uh, I just started going out front pushing on my hands, you know, my knee down and my hands on the front pushing around. That's pretty much where it all started, you know. Thank, thank God my brother came with that board. And, you know, but what be going on right now? What do you think you'd be doing if you weren't skateboarding? Honestly, probably jail. I think pretty much skateboarding took me in the right direction. So. What did you dream of doing as a kid? It's hard to believe, but until I was probably uh, up to 30 years old, I wanted to be a cop. Really? Yeah, my whole life I've always wanted to be a cop, but you know. What were your favorite spots to skate at when you were a kid? Mm, that's a tough one. You know, basically it comes back to the neighborhood. My favorite, you know, spot to skate was right out front. Like, you know, back in the day we didn't, you know, we skated what we had. We had walls, we had curbs. So, you know, we had jump ramps that we made. So that was pretty much my favorite place to skate was out front because that's where everything was happening. And uh, pretty much, you know, even though there was nothing out there, everybody wanted to be there. No matter where you came from, what country you came from, you had to come out and skate in Venice. You could pretty much go to like 80% of the pros today, top notch guys, and they'll tell you, yeah, I had to go skate in Venice in the 80s just to go there, to skate with the boys. You know? Yeah, out front was uh, pretty much, it was the big show back in the day. And uh, that day is coming again soon, nice. you know. But, you know, as far as spots wise, I'd have to say, you know, there was a ditch in Culver City, didn't have a name, but we skated the shit, the heck out of it, liked it. And, uh, then I'd have to say, you know, any backyard pool we could find in the old days, that was a favorite place to skate, you know, nice. your backyard. How did you get into everyone's backyards? Well, we got taught from some of the older dudes, you know, like Jay Adams and stuff, they were some of the first guys to start taking me to backyard pools. And, they already had the lineup on guys who knew where they all were. Basically, if the thing was vacant, we hopped in and jumped <laughs> in. It was on. It was time to skate. What are some of the things you do to keep yourself healthy for skating? God, I hate water, but I'm trying to drink it more now. What are your favorite spots to skate now? Out front at the beach. Nice. You know, even though there's really nothing there, it's still where I'll go at late at night. You know, or. Uh, at five in the morning, go down to the beach, and uh, I can basically still see where I grew up, even though Venice has changed out there so much. You know, I can still, uh, when I'm out there in the morning when no one else is out there, I can still feel the old vibe of the neighborhood without the new vibe getting in the way. What are some of the things you like? That we're getting a new skate park out there is something that quite a few people from the neighborhood have been working on since 1985. Wow. And they've really put in, I'd say, a lot of time and effort to get this park here. Where are we with the construction of the skate park? Oh, Basically, right. the next step is, uh, which is pretty much approved, the uh, California Coastal Commission. And uh, they've already pretty much approved the newest design. So I hear within two or three months they're going to actually start construction. All right. Thanks to one of the city guys, uh, Mike Sherrard. Cool. So let's say thanks to Mike right now. Thanks a lot, Mike Sherrard. <laughs> and who did the new design for the skate park? Well, we got a guy named uh, Zach Wormhow. He's a he's a consultant right now, from what I know of, of uh, with the park. And, uh, he's pretty much did a fine job with, you know, I would say like guys like Lance Lamont, Aaron Murray, uh, Jimmy Valentine. Jerry, you know, I, I've always known him as Jerry Lewis, so I could have his name wrong, but that's how we know him. And, uh, you know, I would say there's probably 10 other guys who have really put in the work. What are you hoping to accomplish with the Venice Skate Park? You know, I just really look forward to the day when I can go to a contest when I'm 55 years old and there's 15 pros from Venice killing it like there was in the old days. And we'll back those youngsters. What do you think the Venice Skate Park will bring to the neighborhood? You know, come with it and just smack down some tricks. It's like, there's nothing better, you know. Forget drugs and shit like that, you know. 
skating is a drug, you know. I don't know. Nice. Well, thank you. We want to thank the Venetian Surf Shop and Venice Originals. Thanks, Jesse. All right. Thank you, guys. See you at the park. <laughs> yeah. Excellent.